dumb, Israel. I'm thinking I thought of Israel United in Christ. I'll tell you who you all call to the Bible, all right? Now, here we are in Wall Street, New York, all right, where the Negroes and Native Americans are sold as slaves. You go down there, you'll see the ships are docked over here, and they sold them right on this block, right here. Okay, this is the Chamber of Commerce, of business. And we were the business. Behind you is the New York Stock Exchange building. We were the stock. Okay, the so-called blacks and Hispanics, the Americans, we were the stock in the stock exchange originally. See that. Let's see if that's written in the Bible. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. The Lord shall bring you into Egypt again with ships. That dot right down the block. Right down there. Okay, read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Into Egypt again. What does Egypt mean? Get that real quick. What does Egypt mean? He said, I'll bring you into Egypt again with ships. Right? With ships. Egypt and again. Because the first time the nation of Israel wasn't the bondage, they didn't go by ships. They walked there. But this particular bondage, they were served together, all 12 tribes, as and be sold in slave ships. Read again. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, Lord, out of the house of bondage. I have brought you out of the land of Egypt, meaning bondage. Out of what? Out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage. Come on. So Egypt represents what? The house of bondage or captivity. The condition of slavery. You know what? Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. And the Lord shall bring you into Egypt again with ships. So you were brought here again in slave ships. You saw both blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans out here? Your ancestors are sold out here in slave ships. Right down there. According to the Holy Bible. Alright? You know what? By the way whereof I spake unto thee. By how Moses said it? Because though that's your ancestor, because that was going to happen. By ships. Come on. Thou shalt see it no more again. You shall see your homeland as a nation no more again. Come on. And there ye shall be sold. And there, there, north, south, east, and west, throughout the Americas, throughout the world, and right here. Right here. All right, come on. Thou shalt see it no more no. again. Come on. And there ye shall be sold. And there. And there ye shall be sold. And there ye shall be sold. Come on. Unto your enemies. Unto your what? Enemies. No, your friends. Enemies. No, your compadres. Enemies. No, your companions. Enemies. No, your, your close family. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Unto your enemies. Because friends don't sell friends in slavery. Friends don't put friends in stocks and bonds. They put them in slave ships. Enemies do that. Read on. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen, slave men, and bond women. And slave women. So you so-called black and Hispanic women were sold along with us right here in Wall Street. How are you you are the stock of the stock exchange. All right? We don't, that's it. And no man shall buy you. No man was able to save us. Mentally, mental slavery. Because so we were free from slavery, our minds were still enslaved like they are today. Your minds are still enslaved. You so-called black suspects. Dead Americans, your minds are still enslaved today. So Marcus Garvey did not save you. Malcolm X did not save you. Becca Evers did not save you. Stokely Carmichael did not save you. Huey B. Newton did not save you. Nat Turner cannot save you. Only a black messiah, Jesus the Christ, can save you so-called black and Hispanics. Who died only for the nation of Israel. Who was sold here in Wall Street. All right? Oh, let me read that. Revelation 18, verse 11. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her. Come on. For no man buyeth their merchandise anymore. So the merchants of the earth happen to be the so-called Dutch, Portuguese, French, American, British, Swedish, Danish. Those are the merchants of the earth. Chinese, Japanese, Arab, African. Those are the merchants of the earth. Come on. Their merchandise of gold and silver. Their, merch their merchandise of gold and silver because guess what? We are living here in Babylon the Great. America is Babylon the Great. The great land of confusion. If you want confusion and evil and, and disarray, you come here. It's legally, it's legalized and passed as laws. Confusion is law here. Read. And precious stones and 
pearls. And precious stones they were selling. And oils, come on. Pearls. And fine linen. And fine linen was being sold by the merchants. And purple. And purple was sold. For and the, um, garments. Silk. Silk. Scarlet. Scarlet. And all fine wood. And all fine wood, come on. And all manner of vessels of ivory. All manner of vessels of ivory, come on. And all manner of vessels of most precious wood. Most precious wood is sold here as well, come on. But this is all trade, traffic, business. America is Babylon the Great. She deals in all these things, come on. And of brass, and iron, and marble. Yeah, yeah, America deals with that also, come on. And cinnamon, and odors, and Because guess what? These things are stock. The stock market's right off the block, right over here. They're stocking wood, they're stocking oil, they're stocking all those things. Come on. And frankincense, and wine, and oil. Come on. And fine flour, and wheat, and beasts, and sheep, and horses, and chariots, and slaves, and souls of men. And what they sell here? And slaves, and souls of men. That's us. America dealt with slaves, the merchants of America dealt with the slaves and the souls of men. And they were on this very stand right here. And here, in lines, but naked. Not knowing where they were, who, you, who, who they were around, why they were here. But the truth is out this day. They were brought here because they broke the commandments of God. They were, the, they were and they are the Israelites the Bible speaks of. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Americans, you are the Israelites the Bible speaks of. You are not niggas and spits. You are the chosen people of God. That's right. You've been lied to for far too long. It's time for you to wake up. Okay? That should be disgusting walking down the street. Your ancestors are sold here. Read. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 12. Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood. The Bible says, woe unto him that builds a town with blood. America was built on blood. They hung niggas all down the street here. Come on. And establish a city by iniquity. And establish the city by iniquity. Because this land is stolen land. He was called the village destroyer. Washington, your four or five founding fathers. He didn't find a damn thing. Read. Behold, it is not of the Lord of hosts that the people shall labor in the very fire. And the people shall worry themselves for very vanity. So that's what y'all doing. You weigh yourselves in vanity. This whole land here is all vanity. This, everything that has a beginning in evil, it comes to an end in the same manner. Evil, destruction, despair, woe. Jeremiah 53. So again, Memorial Day, I can give a damn about Memorial Day. I care about the memorial of my forefathers according to the Bible. I don't give a damn about American troops. America was built on blood. The hell with America. The hell with her troops. Read that. That's right. Read that. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the, and the children of Judah were oppressed together. The children of Judah make up you so-called Negroes, American Negroes, British Negroes of Jamaica, West Indies, and you French Negroes of Haiti. You make up the tribe of Judah, the kingdom of Judah. Come on. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah. The children of Israel, you so-called Hispanics and Native Americans. You lost tribes who were conquered over here by the French, the Spanish, the Dutch, the Swedish, the English, the John Smiths, the Thomas Hunts, the Pizarros, the Hernan Cortez, the Balboas, okay? The Americans, the Spucis, the Columbuses, the liars and pirates, the vampires who suck this land dry along with the descendants today. Come on. The children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. They were oppressed together by these nations, including Africans and Arabs. They were the forerunners of it. They're the reason why we're over here in the first place. Read. And all that took them captive. And all nations, because all nations did this, that took us captive, come on. Held them fast. Held us fast, and held us tight. Kept us in submission up here, spiritually, mentally, psychologically, financially. All spectrums hold us fast. Come on. They refuse to let them go. Because we are the ones that bring y'all business. The so-called black and Hispanics, we bring y'all revenue. $754 billion we spend on y'all. We're the poorest. The islanders go nowhere. We ain't going nowhere under your, under your supervision. Read on. 
Zechariah 11. Come on. Zechariah 11 verse 5. Whose possessors slay them. Who's what? Whose possessors slay them. Some of y'all will say, I wasn't me. I didn't have you in slavery. And you're right, you didn't. But you're the, but guess what? You're the descendants of those who did. Read it again. Whose possessors slay them. Our possessors, like this guy here, he was a possessor. He was the village destroyer of Native Americans. Come on. And hold themselves not guilty. And what? And hold themselves not guilty. And the Europeans hold themselves not guilty for destroying and taking this land from our Native American brothers and sisters. Because they say they were savages. When they were speaking their own language, had their own metropolis, their own laws, their own language, their own culture. And you lied and said that they were savages. And built this land on their blood and sweat and tears. Read. And they that sell them say, and you, and you, you that sold us, right here, come on. Bless be the Lord. Y'all say what? Bless be the Lord. Y'all think Christianity. Bless be the Lord. The Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. Come on. And, and the good ship Jesus. Bless, let's see that part again. Bless what? Bless be the Lord. That's what you nations say when you conquered us. Bless be the Lord. Come on. For I am rich. For what? I am rich. Are you not rich? Is America not rich today? Do slavery that took place in this very step here? Come on. And their own shepherds pity them not. And our own leaders who are under you don't pity us. Because they're solid, they're getting rich, just like our oppressors are getting rich. But get um, I'm gonna read this now. Now let's see, let's see if I'm just some mad, angry nigga just yelling at the top of my lungs for no reason. I'm gonna show y'all according to historical facts that shop about on the internet that we were sold in this very spot. Not only so-called blacks, but Native Americans as well. Read that. In 1711. In what? In 1711. That's damn near what, 200 years ago? 300 years ago? That wasn't long ago. Uh -huh. 300 years ago, come on. New York was growing quickly. New York was growing quickly. Come on. And the growing needs of the city were often supplied by slave labor. And the growing needs of the city was often supplied by what? Slave labor. By what? Slave labor. Come on. Nearly 1,000 out of 6,400 New Yorkers were black. The what? Were black. So we were the majority, like we are today. But what do you call us? The minority. Come on. And at least 40% of the white households included a slave. Included a slave. Let's see what kind of slave they had in their house. In these homes, enslaved workers cooked, washed, sewed, hauled water, emptied the chamber pots, and swept out the fireplaces and the chimneys and cared for the children. We took care of this whole damn city while the oppressor, the so-called white man, sat around and did nothing. What do y'all call us? Lazy niggas. When y'all ain't do a damn thing, y'all ain't build nothing. We built the Washington, we built the White House, the U.S. Capitol, the Supreme Court building. We built this city. Do your slavery, do your slavery and supervision to your oppressive supervision. There will be peace, sister. There will, there will be peace. When Christ returns and this place is in flames, there will be peace. See that? Along the East River, they built, loaded, and unloaded the ships. They cleared the land uptown, and they planted the, and harvested the crops. We harvested the crops that we didn't get a chance to eat. We ate the what? The slop, the crap, the leftovers. Come on. And up and down the narrow streets, they peddled their master's goods. He peddled our master's goods. Yep, yeah, folks. Come on. And even supplied the city's first fast foods. We, we're, the, we're the first fast food joints. We were the first fast food joints before McDonald's, before Checkers, before Burger King. We were the first fast food joints, but we were still slaves. We had no freedom. Come on. As the number of slaves imported into the city soared. As the number of slaves what? Imported into the city, soared. The numbers grew. They brought more and more and more slaves to work here and build what you see around you today for free. Come on. Barrel makers, butchers. We were barrel makers, butchers. Carpenters. Come on. Blacksmiths. We were men of skill. We were not dumb, savage niggas and apes and coons and spades and monkeys like you make us out to be in your movies, in your, in your media. We were men of skill. We want, we want minstrel dancing for you, like some of these house niggas today, these so-called athletes and celebrities today. 
Read on. Carpenters, blacksmiths, and tin workers. You were carpenters, blacksmiths, tin workers. Come on. Began to purchase young enslaved men in order to teach them their trade. So these people began to teach us their trade. Why? Because we were not stupid. We, we didn't have small brains. We were not inferior. Everything we do, we top y'all. Acting, tennis, basketball, music. I have no type That's of right. soul whatsoever. No flavor. That's your right, whole boy. music, your whole thing thought of cool comes from us. Fashion. Everything comes from us. Right. B. When typically when a slave owner ran out of work, they hired their slaves out of out at half the rate of free labor. And what? Typically when a slave owner ran out of work, they hired their slaves out at half the rate of free labor. So we got paid less than nothing, like they do today. Working four, five, six, seven, eight jobs and still barely making it. Come on. Often the slaves themselves were sent out to find work in a time when fear of a slave uprising was ever The sight of so many enslaved men walking the streets looking to be hired across the law. So because of what the black is trying to find work, like today, it alarmed the whites. They were saying, yo, there's too many niggas out here. He's looking for jobs. It's scary. We gotta do something. Come on. Fearful white citizens began to come here. Yeah, what? Fearful white citizens began to complain. They're gonna complain because Negroes are trying to find jobs. Be productive. Be somebody. Come on. They demanded a market where slaves could be hired, bought, and sold. They demanded what? They demanded a market. They demanded a market. We're standing in it right now. They demanded a market. Come on. They demanded a market where slaves could be hired, bought, and sold. Here. Come on. Finally, on December 13th, 1711, the city council passed a law that all Negro and Indian oh, slaves, oh, what? all Negro and Indian slaves, so you the Spanish to think you're Spanish, you, are, you have been lied to. It's time to wake up. Your ancestors are slaves just like us before us in the 1400s. I thought I speak Spanish and Portuguese and French today because that's what the language your oppressor speaks like I speak English because my oppressors and my family were from England they spoke British the language of England so you saw all the Spanish out here trying to blend in guess what you are not them and they know they're not them you are the so-called Native Americans Latin Americans you are sold the slaves right along with us so sit around them all you want dye your hair blonde all you want Talk about them all you want, they're still gonna call you a nigga. That's deep, that's a That all Negro and Indian slaves that are let out to hire be hired at the market house. So Native American and Negro slaves were hired to work slave labor. Come on. Let them be hired at the market house at the Wall Street slip. Where? At the Wall Street slip. Where? At the Wall Street slip. That's where we work slave labor, right here. These bricks, there's all bodies under here. This is a damn graveyard. This land is defiled. And it must be purged. Right. It must be purged. Micah chapter 2, verse 1. Yep. Woe to them that devise iniquity. Woe to them that devise iniquity. Come on and work evil upon their beds. And work evil upon their beds. Come on. When the morning light is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. Because y'all have power right now. So y'all mock us, you smile, you laugh, because you have power right now. You can, you can raise my rent tomorrow and get me locked and get me locked up. You do right, you can do it. It's in the power of your hand to do so. But that power has a limit. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm showing you today. From the 1400s up until now, look, look at it, look how weak you've become. It's not changing. Okay, me again. Woe to them that divide iniquity and work evil upon their beds. Y'all work evil upon your beds. By what? Making sure to keep Negroes what? In Christianity? Keep them in politics? Keep them in sports? Keep them in the false education? Keep them in lies? Your music? Your media? Or you keep them? Keep them occupied. Keep their attention.
Keep them sleep. Make keep them keep the niggas stupid and dumb. But guess what? That plan has failed. Cause I'm not one of them. I've woken up and I'm gonna be one of many. That's right. One of many. Three. And they covered fields. And what? And they covered fields. This land was coveted after by a Westerner, by um Westerners. No Westerners. The uh, Europeans. This land was coveted by Europeans. All right, come on. And take them by violence. And do what? And take them by violence. This land was taken by violence. The Bible says by law. Because America's high law is the Bible. America is a Christian country. And yet, the Bible says, thou shalt not covet. And this land was built on coveting. Land that was, that was desired and taken from someone by someone it didn't belong to. Violently. Read it again. And they covet fields and take them by violence. And they covet lands and take them by violence. Like your George Washington, known as the village destroyer. Come on. And houses. And take houses. Come on. And take them away. And take them away. Like this land. Not only this land, but Jerusalem also. That land belongs to us. Jerusalem belongs to us. We are the Israelites the Bible speaks of. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the lost tribes of Israel. And y'all, some of y'all in this audience, y'all know it. This is the day that y'all feared. This is the day that your ancestors feared for 300 years. That's right. The phenomenon has occurred. The phenomenon has occurred. We have reached substantial historical base. This Bible, it's a wrap. It's time to fess up to it. Read it again. And they covered fields and take them by violence. Y'all covered this land and you took it from our brothers by violence. Come on. And houses. And you took houses by violence. And take them away. And you took them away. Come on. And so they oppress a man and his house. And so what? So they oppress a man and his house. So in the midst of taking a man's house, and his land, you oppress the man and his family, his nation. Come on. Even a man and his heritage. Even a man and his what? His heritage. And you steal the heritage too. Y'all stole her. You got so called white folks saying they're Indians. So called white folks saying that they're, that they're Jews. Y'all steal heritage. Heritage. You steal cultures. Because literally, y'all have no culture. So you thrive on theft and lies. But a liar can't lie but so long. After a while, the truth comes out. Facts are brought out. And the lies are gone. Because facts outweigh Christian emotions. I'm going to say it again. Facts outweigh Christian, demonic, religious emotions. Read. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Behold! Against this family. Against the family that has done this. What family oppressed a man and his land and heritage? What nation has, has been known to do this for centuries? Steal lands, steal cultures, create lives and religions, falsehoods. What nation has done this? Is it the Arabs? No. Maybe the Africans? No. Hawaiians? No. Filipino? No. Japanese? No. Chinese? No. Who could it be? Job 924. Who could it be? Because God asked the same question. We're going to find out according to the Bible who it is. Job 9 and 24. Let's see who it is. Maybe I'm just some angry Negro that wants to vent. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Job 9 and 24. Job chapter 9 and verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The Bible. The Bible says, the high law of this so-called Christian land says, what? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. What nation runs the world today and tells all nations what to do? Is it the Negroes? 
They're Hispanics. No. Japanese. No. Chinese. No. Arabs. No. Koreans. No. Ah, Filipinos. No. Indonesians. No. So Africans. No. Oh, so that only leaves one. Next I can think of. There has to be the white so, man. Yes. That's, right. that's, that's who right. it is. And it's woman who has our women turn against us. That's what that's take. That's who it is. That's just common sense. It's not being, I'm not being racial. Name one nation that tells America what to do. Anyone. I, I'll give you time. Europeans is not it. What people was not Read it. again. Rich. The earth is given into the hand the of the wicked. The earth is given the into the hand the of the wicked. Come on. He covered the faces of the judges. The Thereof is not well. And who is he? Did he get? If not, where and who is he? So God asked the question. If not, where and who is he? Where and who is he? Because ignorance is bliss. Our people are wicked as hell. They're wicked as hell. The rich. Do black rich folks run the world? No. Do Arab rich folks run the world? No. Do African rich folks run the world? No. Do East Indian rich men run the world? No. Don't be a dumbass up here. No. Be realistic. No. The reality is this. The rich white man runs the world. Who runs the feds? Who runs the feds? The CIA. What? Who runs the feds? Who runs the feds? Who runs the feds? The CIA. Who runs that? Is it Africans? Is it Arabs? No, this man was a so-called white man. That's right. So, let, let, come on, let, let's be realistic. Let's stop trying to defend Massa. I know it's hard. I know he smiles. His hair is pretty and yellow. Whoa! Brothers and sisters, you look at the DNA trace throughout millions of people all around the world. We all come from Africa. Every single human being comes from Africa. Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 14. Is Israel a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? Read again. Is Israel a servant? Is Israel a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? Is Israel a homeborn slave? Why is he spoiled? Why are you spoiled? Because you're a bunch of homeborn slaves. When the truth comes out, what do y'all do? Y'all talk, talk over us. You can't talk over us. The truth is out there. It's over. You can't stop this. You cannot stop this. Yell all you want. You ain't saying a damn thing. Read again. Is Israel a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? Is Israel a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? The answer is yes. That is why you are spoiled. Because you love Master. You love him. That's a damn problem, man. Not different cultures, not white people. I'll end it on this. So again, y'all can argue as all you like. It makes no difference. If you argue all you want, at the end of the day, this country is doomed. And those of y'all who are smart, y'all see it. You see it. And do you know why? Verse 5. Revelation 18, verse 5. Five, for her sins have reached unto heaven. Verse 4. Revelation 18, verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. So the Bible says, You are here, come out of her, my people. Come out of these philosophies, come out of politics, come out of religion. Religion is garbage. We are not religious. This Bible is not religious. This Bible is a book of the record of the chosen people of God and their laws and land. Come on. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people. So you must come out of her, my people. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, you must come out of these philosophies, out of these lies America has fed, fed you, food fed you for centuries. It's time to wake up or die. There is no gray area. Read. Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins. That what? That ye be not partakers of her sins. Lying, stealing, homosexuality, theft, all the above. Be not a partaker of America's sins or her militaries, her armies. 
Because guess what? If you're her army, you're going down along with her. Because you have to defend her. And when God returns, he's not going to bless this place. He's right, going right. to curse it. Right, because right. God never blessed America. Satan did. Right. Read. And that ye receive not of her plague, for her sins have reached unto heaven. America's sins have reached unto heaven. America's sins have pissed God off. And he's getting mad. And matter and matter, come on. And God hath remembered her iniquity. And unlike you Negroes, unlike you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Americans out here, God does not forget nothing. God don't forget a damn thing. Read. Sit. Um, second to be six. Revelation 13. Revelation 13. So again, understand. America is done. You can yell over us all you want, try to talk over us, speak your emotions. You don't give a damn what you have to say. Use no, the Bible or shut the hell up. Revelation 13 verse 9. Four. Revelation 13 verse 4. And they worship the dragon. Verse um, up the top, up the top. Revelation 13 verse 1. I'm going to show y'all according to the Bible. I'm going to show y'all America in the Bible. I'm going to show you without a shadow of a doubt that America is in the Bible in detail. Watch, me. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea. This beast represents a nation. This is not the omen like Damien. That's dumb Catholic garbage. Read. Having seven heads and ten horns. This beast that John saw had seven heads and it had ten horns. Come on. And upon his horns, Ten crowns! And upon these horns he had ten crowns. Come on. And upon his head the name of blasphemy. And upon what? And upon his head the name of blasphemy. And upon each of these heads the names of lies. The seven heads. The seven heads are the Greeks, the Romans, the Spanish, the French, the Germans, the Russians, and the British. Those are the seven heads of the beast that made up what? America. Because out of the seventh head comes the eighth. That's America. America is the beast of revelations. Babylon the Great. The land that is predestined 3,000, 2,000 years ago to nuclear destruction. To nuclear destruction that none of y'all, whether you go to flying space, you cannot escape it. You cannot escape the day of evil. None of y'all can. It doesn't matter. Um, unless you repent. Come on. And it does not matter what type of real estate you have on the moon. That's right. Because your wicked society has corporations that has made it possible for private companies. They put NASA away and they have private companies now going up into space to go ahead and what? Create real estate on the moon? You are not going to escape the destruction. That's right. We don't. Revelation 13 verse 2. So that beast is America with the seven heads and ten horns or is the EU. The, the, the European Union. The ten common markets. America had ten common markets. The EU. Those are the ten heads of the beast. Read. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard. And the beast he saw was like unto what? A leopard. Because y'all incorporated what? Y'all incorporated the Greek doctrines into your land. Come on, like the homosexuality, sports, same-sex marriage, that's all Greek philosophy. Look at the structure. All nations come together as one. Democracy, that's a Greek philosophy. God never wanted all nations together. Daniel chapter 7 verse 26. But the judgment shall sit, and they shall take away his dominion. So they is us. The Most High, Christ, and the nation of Israel. Read again. And they shall take away his dominion. America's dominion is going to be over. Read. To consume and to destroy it unto the end. To do what? To consume and to destroy it unto the end. So the Most High and the Son Christ and the angels are going to destroy America. To consume it to the end with nuclear bombs. Read. But the judgment shall sit. And they shall take away his dominion to consume and to destroy it unto the end. Come on. And the kingdom 
and dominion and the kingdom and dominion to come. I know a lot of you so-called white folks, you, you think that we're, just, we're a joke. You laugh us to scorn. But guess what? According to the Bible, it's going to come a day. We're going to be in your position. We're going to rule over you. Have you pay taxes? Have you pay rent? You on WIC. You on food stamps. You on welfare. Y'all going to be in the same state that we're in. And worse. Right. Forever. And nine, to, nine to every day. There ain't no hours. Just nine to a Sabbath. Nine to forever. Only Sabbath off. That's it. Read. And the kingdom. And dominion. And the greatness of the kingdom. For the kingdom. And dominion. Come on. And the kingdom. And dominion. And the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven. Shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high. Given to who? And shall be given unto the people of the saints of the most high. The kingdom and dominion that y'all have now is going to be given to the same people you sold on this very block. How ironic is that? The same niggas and savages you called niggas for years. We're going to have dominion and rulership over this entire planet like God intended. Thus saith the Lord. Come on. Whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. And our kingdom's going to last forever. It's never going to stop. Can't stop, won't stop, like bad boy records. You know what? All dominion shall serve and obey him. And what? And all, domi and all dominion shall serve and obey him. And all dominions, all ruling kingdoms today shall serve and obey him. Meaning our king, the black man, a black man, Jesus the Christ, shall obey him under us. That's going to happen. That is what's going to happen. Here too is the end of the matter. So the Bible ends on that note. Read on. As for me, Daniel, my cog cogitations. cogitations much troubled me, and my countenance changed in me, but I kept the matter in my heart. Because Daniel, under Daniel saw a great and powerful wonder that no man can begin to fathom that the so-called black and Hispanics who have always been on the bottom of society are going to take over this world with a great and holy and righteous overthrow. That it? Come on. Second Ezra chapter 6 verse 8 And he said unto me from Abraham unto Isaac when Jacob and Esau were born because Jacob is our forefather Esau is the forefather of the whole Caucasian race right. read on Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau they were twins and Jacob's hand held first on Esau's heel come on for Esau for Esau for Esau you so-called white folks today come on for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. What are we? For Esau is the end of the world. So you so-called white folks today, y'all the end of the world. Come on. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. We're gonna rule once once America burns and all you guys are in slavery. It's time for us to rule. And with that, we say shalom.
those things necessary for them to survive.